my channel. In today's episode, we will be doing a chocolate orange cake. And for this, we require the following ingredients. Half a cup of milk, one tablespoon of orange rind, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, one cup of orange juice, and it is freshly squeezed orange juice, five eggs, 450 grams of self-raising flour, and 50 grams of cocoa powder. We have 250 grams of margarine and 250 grams of sugar. To start off, we are going to cream the sugar and the margarine together to a light fluffy consistency. So we are going to mix and in the process, I will not be talking, but we are going to mix it until the mixture is white and fluffy and almost doubled in size. mixture is ready it's white it's fluffy and almost doubled in size so I'm going to gradually add in one egg at a time sorry is mixed and now we are going to add in the dry ingredients that we had weighed earlier on that's okay we are going to mix it in and it's going to look smooth again with a metal spoon I'll now add in the dry ingredients dry ingredients we have flour we have cocoa powder we have salt we have a bicarbonate of soda and also I have added two sachets of four uh, grams of uh, instant coffee powder. Coffee helps to elevate coffee helps to elevate the taste of uh, the, 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 the chocolate flavor in the cake. So I'm going to mix it, uh, going round and cutting in the middle, and this we call folding in. And I'm going to alternate this with the wet ingredients. So I'll add a little bit of our milk. Flavors coming out 
very well. I can actually smell them as I mix. This is going to be a very tasty chocolate cake. I can smell the coffee. to add in the orange rind mix it in then I add the orange juice I like ending with the, the, the juice and flavors because it gives me an assurance that the cake has enough of it. So I'm going to continue folding in the liquid. At this juncture, I want to add a little bit of caramel color. Caramel will help to enhance the color of the chocolate. So I'll just add one top of this bottle that's like almost a teaspoon of the caramel we don't want too much of it because we don't want it of overpowering the cake okay I'll also add orange um, essence just to give me the flavor of the orange it will help to enhance the flavor of the orange so I'll oops. Sorry, I would put all of it, but you just need like a teaspoon of the orange flavor also. You don't want to overpower. Okay. So remember to use a teaspoon of each, and we are going to combine them together and bring in a very nice color and flavor. So our mixture is now mixed well, ready for the cheese. And as you can see, it has a beautiful color. And I can tell you it smells heavenly. So we are going to add it to the tins. I'm going to use two tins. These tins are six by, by four inch size. So we put them on the tins. Remember not to fill your tin to allow space for the cake to rise well and bake well. If you put too much, there's a possibility that the cake may rise or overrise and pour off the tin, and that will be disaster. So, you put it like three quarter weight, giving an allowance for the cake to rise so that we have a beautiful, even, well baked cake. I'm going to turn to remove excess hair and just to also help to uh, make the cake level. So we are going to bake in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, or until a skewer sorted in comes out clean. Okay, so finally, this is our chocolate cake, chocolate orange cake. You can see, let's come out there and share our channel at Mamit Cake Parlor. Thank you for watching.